Hello, students. Good evening, everybody. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to our English class. Hello. It's a great chance to, you know, start this class this moment. So it's a great opportunity, you know, to, you know, to learn English. This is actually the right time, you know, to start. So welcome to all of you. I know that it's, it's a great day, you know, part of the night. And also, we just like all the time try to, you know, practice and learn English. It's something that we always we need to do because after, you know, that we are in the process to learn and we just get new information in English, we understand in a better way. So that's why it's necessary to, you know, to work hard in English classes. So welcome. And also tomorrow is a great day. For whom? What do we celebrate tomorrow? Mother's Day. The? Mother's Day. Yeah, the Mother's Day. So we will have, you know, a great time, definitely. So especially to commemorate uh, the Mother's Day, how incredible mothers are. And also, you know, if you are a uh, mother, so congratulations for you know, everything you do, it's very special. And especially you also, if you will celebrate to your moms too, it's going to be great, especially because it's a day off, nobody goes to work and we just like, you know, stay with our moms and have a good time with them. So that is very nice to know. So I hope that you can enjoy this. Well, let's just start today with the class. And also before that we, you know, continue, I just want to know, what we started? What do you, what did we study yesterday? Can you help me with it? What we started? Do you remember? What was the topic? El tema. What we studied what yesterday? Time is, yes. What time is it? What time is it? Okay, we're talking about a time, right? We work some, some exercises about a time, and that, that is good, right? And we work in some exercises. Muy bien. Uh, let's continue with the same rhythm, with the same activities. And you can see here, um, I'm, I'm really hungry. That's the topic, of course. So, so we had a conversation that we just remember. We started. Vamos a mostrar acá. And also, we were talking about, you know, this, this uh, conversations between Stephen Mom thinking about the Mother's Day. So, uh, so he's cooking. And also, they were talking about cooking. And also, you can see new vocabulary here. Like, what are you cooking? Using the present uh, continuous. I'm cooking. Uh, she's cooking. Are you making pizza? So, we are using vocabulary and expressions in English. So you can see here uh, part of this topic. And also I ask if you had uh, some questions about the vocabulary and um, and you can see something interesting about that, about cooking and also uh, having something important. Uh, are you going to cook to celebrate the Mother's Day, are you going to cook tomorrow? No? Are you are you going to cook? Van a cocinar mañana para el día de las mamás? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so it's going to be a great time. So we, you have enjoyed it. Okay, so we just actually had this conversation in the last class, remember? So why are you cooking now? Porque estás cocinando ahora, right? That was the point. Oh, well, um, it's two o'clock in the morning. It's, it's two o'clock in the morning. I'm really hungry. What are you making? But imagine, I mean, cooking around two o'clock in the morning. Do you cook in the morning? Do you eat at 3 or 4 a.m.? No. 
No. No. No, right? In the United States, it's very common because they have people have different schedules. And sometimes they wake they wake up like around two, three, and they wake up to eat and then they go back to sleep, right? Se levantan dos, tres de la mañana a comer y luego se vuelven a dormir. It's uh, normal for some people. So that's why uh, you can see the conversation. It's two o'clock in the morning. And also this boy is cooking because it's, he's hungry. Okay, y si ven a la, a la mamá, se ve que está eh, con su pijama, we could say, because they are sleeping. So imagine eating at that time is a, not common in El Salvador. O alguien come a las dos, tres de la mañana y se vuelve a dormir? No. No, right? No. Okay, so it's because it's not common for us to do that. Well, let's continue with the next activity. And also we have uh, this information is like, look at this one, uh, Los Angeles, Mexico City and New York City about the, the, the time, you know? And also we have Brasilia, London, Brasilia, the, the capital of Brazil, London, the capital of England, and Moscow, the capital of Russia. New York City, Mexico City, the capital of Mexico, and Los Angeles is and in California. So there are some, you know, statements. So let's see what happened here. And who wants to help me to read uh, the first three images about this one? Can me the latest? Yes, a volunteer. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. What's Moscow doing? It's 6 a.m. So she's getting up. What are so and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. So they're having breakfast. So you can see here um the, what is happening according to the time 4 a.m 6 a.m 7 a.m and uh so you can see uh victoria what she's sleeping o sea que ella está durmiendo verdad que es lo que está haciendo en este momento ella está durmiendo miren que interesante look at that and also marcos what's marco marco doing so he's getting up o sea que se está levantando mientras Victoria is sleeping. Y let's see the next one. Veamos al siguiente. And also, uh, Sue and Tom, uh, they are having breakfast. O sea, que ellos están desayunando. Miren eso. Están desayunando in that particular time. So they are, you know, doing that. So let's check the next one about Celia that she's going to work. O sea, que ella va a trabajar. And also you can see uh, James and Anna and doing, so they are having lunch. Entonces ellos están almorzando. En inglés dice, they are having lunch. Y luego tenemos a uh, Andrew. What's Andrew doing? So he's, he's working. Él está trabajando. Veamos eh, la siguiente. Look at the next one. Ahí eh, quiero que lo lean completo. Alguien que me ayude a leer este. Who wants to help me to read it? What's Celia doing? She's going to work. What are James and Annie doing? It's noon. So they're having lunch. What are Andrew doing? She is working. So thank you. So you could uh, you could see like some statements here. Um, also actions using um, this structure that is present continuous. Entonces vemos a la acción ahí del presente continuo acerca de cosas que ellos están haciendo eh, en el presente. Eh, decíamos que es el sujeto 
más el verbo be, más el verbo más ing. Yo digo play, playing, jugando. Dance, dancing, bailando. Sleep, sleeping, durmiendo. Sing, singing, cantando. Eh, work, working, trabajando. Entonces, eh, son acciones que están pasando en el tiempo continuo. Let's see some other actions. Veamos el siguiente. Ahí está. Um, okay, look at this one. Uh, we have uh, uh, Premsak, Hiroshi, y tenemos alguien más. ¿Quién me ayuda a leer estas? A volunteers, please. Tell me. I can. Yes, thank you. Van Gogh, 7 p.m. What Permax como Pers Talk doing? ¿Cómo se pronuncia, teacher, ese, ese nombre? Hiroshi. Mm. Yeah, son like um, foreign names. Okay. He's eating dinner now. Fuck you, 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? She is watching television. You yeah. city. Eh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa hora? Um, casi no se le escucha, no sé si te podría. Oh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa hora? Eh, the zero. It's like. Zero. Yeah, it's. Eh, en este caso, como son las. Es midnight. Midnight, que en este caso equivale pues a la medianoche, cero cero, right? That's so okay. we call midnight your city. It's uh, we're talking about that, yeah. Your city, zero. What are you doing? It's so aim. Okay, that's right. So what, what, what I want you to do is with this statement, uh, vamos a ver las oraciones y vamos a responder. Ask and answer equations about the pictures. Tenemos, por ejemplo, who's sleeping now? Usted va a ver las, um, va a ver cada una y va a responder en, en equipo. En equipo se van a unir todos y van a ir respondiendo una por una. Who's sleeping now? ¿Quién está durmiendo ahora? Uh, who's having breakfast? ¿Quién está desayunando? Usted pone ahí. It's the, um, it's the, um, Hiroshi or it's Perkman or where is Andrew working? And donde está trabajando Andrew? He is working at home or he's working uh, oh, ahí. Where is Hiroshi watching television? Donde está Hiroshi viendo televisión? Vemos ahí el ejemplo de esa estructura. Veamos ahí el ejemplo. Eh, what's Celia wearing? ¿Qué está Celia usando? What's Marcos wearing? ¿Qué es lo que está usando Marcos? And uh, why is Marcos um, getting up? Um, en este caso, ahí vemos el ejemplo. ¿Por qué, ¿Por qué se está levantando Marcos? And also, uh, why are James and Annie having lunch? ¿Y por qué... James y Annie están almorzando. So you can see here the examples. Ahí ustedes pueden ver el ejemplo. Y lo vamos a contestar en pequeños grupos. So the previous one also. Um, sorry. Yes, we're talking about this one. Yeah, so you can see the examples. Okay, one second. Check this one. Así que en este momento vamos a formar los pequeños grupos y con su grupo usted va a ir contestando las preguntas. A uh, question before we go on to the breakup rooms. Preguntas antes de que pues, nos vayamos a los breakout rooms. ¿Qué es la palabra going? Que está en todas las preguntas. 
Eh, going. What? Eh, haciendo. Eh, doing. Doing es haciendo. What's Perksman doing? ¿Qué está haciendo Perksman? What's Hiroshi doing? ¿Qué está haciendo Hiroshi? What are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? Sería ahí el ejemplo. Yes. Y entonces ahí dice, he's sleeping, he's watching TV, he's eating dinner, he's working, etc. Entonces, ¿alguna otra pregunta? Hello? No? No questions? No. Ok, perfecto. Entonces, entramos con los grupos y comienzan a contestar cada una de las preguntas relacionadas a las imágenes. Así que, let's go. Hola. Hi. Hi. Podemos ir haciendo una pregunta a cada uno y la vamos contestando si gustan. Si quiere, empiece usted. Eh, la número uno. Usa sleeping now. Victoria sí, is sleeping. Victoria is sleeping. Victoria is asleep. 
eh, sigo yo con la otra si gustan. Ok. Who is having breakfast? Who is having breakfast? Uh, James and Annie are having lunch. No, eso sería lunch. Sería Sue and Don are having breakfast. Su entón. Where is Andrew working? Andrew. Y la tres. Where is Andrew working? He's working in Moscow. Where is Hiroshi watching television? La cuatro, four. Es in the living, in the living in room. Perdón. In the living in the room. In the room. Yo creo uh -huh. que es Tokyo. Uh -huh. que, creo que sería sweet, sweet, sweet. Uh, he's wearing red. a sweet a red sweet ajá uh -huh. uh -huh, red sweet y su brief su atacheva marco Next to this, what's Marco wearing? ¿Qué está usando Marcos? ¿Qué está usando? Ah, pa, pa, pijama, ¿verdad? Ajá. Pijama. A ver, he's wearing pajamas. A ver, no salen buenas. <ríe> si no, ahí las corregimos. Uh -huh. La siguiente dice, why, why is Marco getting up? Eh, why is, ¿por qué, verdad? ¿Por qué se está levantando Marco? Ah, porque son las 6 a.m., ¿verdad? Ya es hora de levantarse. Uh -huh. ver, okay. We are... For James and Anne had a lunch. Six a.m. Okay. It is. It's. La siguiente. We are James and Andrew. Why, why are James? ¿Por qué están tomando un desayuno? Porque son las 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. It is 7 o'clock in the morning.
Mm -hmm. Okay. It's Pero ese de Gerap no lo escogimos en ninguna. Uh -huh. Ah, bien, la de, la de, porque se está levantando Marcos. Gerap. que ponernos atenta ahí para corregir si alguna no la tenemos buena. Buena. ¿Cuál era la 8? ¿Cuál era la respuesta? Ah, it's a 7 o'clock in the morning porque son las 7 de la mañana. Por eso está... Okay, students, let's go back um, with the exercise. I saw that most of you were um, working in the equations and this is the time to confirm your answers. So for that reason, we will be responding each one here in this part. So let's see the first one, get ready. We will use the chat right now to confirm this information. So let's try it right now with this exercise. Let's see. Number one. Um, who's sleeping now? Victoria is sleeping right now. Okay, so Victoria is sleeping right now, okay? Excellent. Right now so we can have here this one victoria is sleeping right now congratulations that was a great job here let's see equation number two and equation number two says who's having breakfast check so I, uh, tom. i'm sorry so I, and tom so and tom are having breakfast? Okay. Yes. yes. Do you remember the city? New York City. Oh, great. Yes, they are having breakfast. Excellent. So look at the chat. And also we just right here. So Sue and Tom are having breakfast. That's great. 
Okay, look at the number three. Uh, the number three says, um, where's Andrew working? He's working at Moscow. <laughs> ah, uh, so he's working. So, and also, where's Andrew? He is in Moscow, right? Let's see. And also, Moscow. Um, what country? What's uh, Moscow is the capital of? Russia. 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 Yes, perfect. So he's in Moscow now. So that was a great job. Okay, let's see. Uh, yes. Co uh, comments? Questions? No. No questions. Okay. So the next one. And number four. Um, where's Hiroshi watching television? Where's Hiroshi watching television? He is watching television at Tokyo. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, could you repeat that, please? Uh, he is watching television at Tokyo. Uh, where is the, um, yeah, at Tokyo, yeah, it could be. And also, according to the picture, so he is watching, watching TV in Tokyo. Let's see, I'm just gonna write it here. And Tokyo is the capital of Japan. Number five, number five, and look at this. What's Celia wearing? She's wearing a red suit and briefcase. Could you repeat that, sorry? She's wearing a red suit and brie scarf. Okay. Okay. Sé que ella está usando un traje rojo y su atachero. Yes, exactly. That's okay. And also a bag, so a bag too. Yes, yeah. excellent, great job. Number six. Um, what's Marcos wearing? Que está usando Marcos. He's wearing pajamas. Okay, he's wearing pajamas. Yeah, so. It's, it's very comf comfortable, you know, to wear pajamas. It's, it's very nice also. Okay, so vamos a ver, lo vamos a poner acá. One second. So, do you wear pajamas? No. And nowadays with this weather, it's very hot, right? Y este clima yeah. que está mero caliente, no? <laughs> this weather is very like- Very hot. Yeah, <laughs> it's not friendly. Supposedly we have this week and after this week, the weather will be much better, but I don't know. Number seven, number number seven. Um, why is Marcus getting up? He is getting up because it's 6 a.m. Okay, so he's getting up because it's 6 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it is 6 a.m. So he's getting up because, because it, 
is it 6 a.m. Okay, so let me see. Okay, so that's interesting, right? And the last one. Why are James and Anna having breakfast? Lunch, I'm sorry. So uh, having lunch, I'm sorry, so I'm saying breakfast. Why um, are James and Anna, because... I mean... They're, they are having a <coughs> lunch because it's noon. Excellent. Perfect, perfect. So they're having lunch because it's noon, right? Porque ya es el mediodía, entonces tienen que almorzar. Perfecto, perfecto. That is the way. So we were like discussing about, you know, this weather and food. Uh, what time do you have lunch? What time do you have lunch? At 12? At 1, 2? What time do you have lunch? 1 p.m. 1 p.m. At 3 p.m. <laughs> At 3 p.m.? Whoa, very late. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Unfortunately. What? It's late, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, it's, it's a little late. Okay, what else? What time do you go to... Okay. Uh, what, what else? Somebody else? Okay, so let's continue. Questions about this vocabulary, questions about the structures. Questions? Hello? No question, teacher. No question. Okay, perfect. So let's continue. Okay, friends across the continent. And um, it says, skip this conversation and write the name of the correct person under each picture. So we have, for example, in uh, Meg Martin, and Kathy a brief chat online almost every day. Meg is an exchange student from the US and she's studying in Mexico. Kathy is in the US. Vamos a grabar esto también, así que me permiten vamos a grabar esta conversation. Vamos a ver. Okay, one second. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have it here. Look at this conversation. So we also were going to practice. Hi there. Hi, Meg. What are you doing? Uh, I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop, computer. I'm doing my homework. What are you working on? Um, I'm writing an essay for a Spanish class. Can you chat uh, for a minute? What are you? Uh, I'm in an internet cafe with my friend Carmen. I'm having coffee and she is reading a magazine. How is your family? They are all fine. My father's working outside and he's mowing the load. My mother is out shopping. Where's your brother? John's not home. He is playing soccer in the park. Oh, wait. My mother is home 
and she's calling me. I have to go. Okay, bye bye. Okay, I'm sending this the conversation in it. So what I want you to do is to check the information here. Um, read this conversation and also uh, ask for the equation. Writing an essay. ¿Quién está escribiendo un ensayo? Usted escribe el nombre. Uh, who's having coffee? ¿Quién está eh, tomando café? Uh, who's reading a magazine? ¿Quién está leyendo una revista? And who's working outside? ¿Quién está trabajando fuera? And who's shopping? ¿Quién está comprando? And who's playing soccer? En este caso, ¿Quién está jugando fútbol? Lo que vamos a hacer eh, es lo siguiente. Vamos a formar pequeños grupos y eh, vamos a practicar la conversación entre Megan y Kathy. Así que eh, vamos a practicarlo y vamos a contestar esas partes. Ok. ¿Es that ok? Vemos la palabra, eh, por ejemplo, le dice, hi, hi there, hola, hi, Meg, ¿qué estás haciendo? Eh, estoy sentándome en mi cama con mi laptop mi, y estoy haciendo mi tarea, le dice. Um, ¿en, ¿En qué estás trabajando? What are you working on? I'm writing an essay for the Spanish class. Estoy escribiendo un ensayo para la clase de español. En inglés es essay. Can you chat? Puedes hablar, ya que la palabra chat significa conversar. Right? Por eso de ahí proviene la palabra chat, de chatting. Eh, pero es conversar. Uh, for a minute, por un minuto, ¿dónde estás? I'm in the internet cafe with my friends, Carmen. Dice que está en un café internet, que en este caso es como un tipo cafeteria. Eh, con su amiga Carmen y están tomando café y están leyendo una revista uh, magazine how's your family cómo está tu familia they're all fine todos están bien my father's working outside mi papá está trabajando afuera and he's mowing the lawn que significa que está cortando el césped cuando vemos la palabra mowing the lawn es cortar el césped and my mother is out shopping está Está afuera comprando. Where is your brother? ¿Y tu hermano? Uh, John's not home. Dice que John no está en la casa. And he's playing soccer in the park. Está jugando fútbol en el parque. Eh, fútbol. Um, wait, my mother is at home. Mi, mi mamá está en la casa and she's calling me. Me está llamando. Tengo que irme. So you can see that one. Okay, so let's practice the conversations. Vamos a, vamos a trabajar en los grupos. Y quiero que practiquen la conversación. Quiero ver, vamos a ver, grupos minors. Four, three, four, that will be three. Bien, eh, ¿estamos listos? Sí, Sher, también vamos a contestar las preguntas. Las Hola. Cosas. También vamos a contestar las preguntas. Sí, el abajo, por ejemplo, ¿quién, es, ¿quién está escribiendo el ensayo? ¿Quién está tomando café? ¿Quién está leyendo la revista? ¿Quién está comprando? Entonces usted... Eh, en lo que dice la conversación lo completo. Y quiero que practique la pronunciación. Por ahí les mandé el audio. No sé si ya lo vieron. Sí. Ok, yes. perfecto. So, let's go. Practice.
Ajá. Ya, ya salimos. salimos. Entonces, si quiere, comencemos. Bye. Bye. Hi, Dere. Hi, Mac. What are you doing? I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop. I'm doing what? my home. I'm doing my homework. What, what are, are you, you working on? Yes. Uh, I'm writing an essay for a Spanish class. Can you chat? Uh, for a minute. Where are you from? I in a uh, internet. Um, no, no, no. What my my friend Carmen? I having coffee and she's reading a magazine. How is your family? They are all fine. My father's working outside. He is mowing the lawn. My mother is out shopping. Where is your brother? John's not home. He's playing soccer in the park. Oh, wait. My mother's home. She's calling me. I have to go. Oh, bye. Bye. Ahí sería. Creía haber visto otra persona este aquí con nosotros. Yo, yo soy. ¿Con quién voy a practicar yo? Este, fíjese que se, se salió la otra persona que estaba. Si quiere, practique conmigo. Sí, porque se, ya solo nosotros quedamos, digamos. Solo tres. Bueno. Ajá. Entonces. Empiezo yo. Perdón. Empiezo. Sí, comienza usted. Hi, Chris. Hi, Mac. What are you doing? I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop computer. I'm doing my homework. What are you working on? I'm writing an essay for a Spanish class. Can you chat? For a minute, where are you? Where are you? I am. I. I. I internet. I I having coffee in chai reading a magazine. Oh, is your family? They are all fine. My father's working outside. He's mowing the lawn. My mother is out shopping. Where is your, where is your brother? John's not home. He is playing soccer in the park. Oh wait, oh wait. My mother is home. She's calling me. I have to go. Okay, bye. Bye. Ahí está. Están las preguntas también. Ah, sí, vamos a contestar las preguntas. Dice, who is writing an essay? ¿Quién, es, ¿Quién está escribiendo el ensayo o un ensayo? Es... Katio. Un poco raro, ¿no? Sí, ella es Katio. Uh -huh. Poco raro. Eh, también pregunta, who is having coffee? Okay. Es Meg. Ella es la que está... Eh, ¿Qué hora? Sí, Meg. Es la que está tomando café. Meg. Pregunta, la tercera dice, who is reading a magazine? Carmen, sería Carmen. Carmen is, is reading a magazine. 
la cuarta pregunta dice who is working outside sería Katio's father is working outside sería sería Katio Katio's father is working outside. Y la otra, la quinta pregunta dice, who is shopping? Creo que sería, Katio's mother is shopping. Sería la mamá de Katio. La última dice, who is playing soccer? Sería John. John is playing soccer. Y ahí estarían ya las preguntas también. Ya está. Y a la conversación. Okay, students, uh, we will check the attendance list. So you listen your name and you say present. So we have uh, Ana Claudia Mejia. Ana Claudia Mejia. Ana Eleticia Garcia. Ana Eleticia Garcia. No está. Eh, Cam eh, Camila Alessandra Consuegra. Present. Eh, Damaris Milagro Hernández. Present. David Rafael Ramos. Present. Diana Marcela Cruz. Present. Fátima Esmeralda Rivera. Fátima. Eh, Fátima Saray Hernández. Present. Eh, Génesis Arrigail Hernández. Génesis. Present. Eh, Carla Vanessa Sánchez. Present. Catherine Guadalupe Corleto. Catherine Guadalupe. Lady Evelyn Guerrero. Present. Melissa Daniela Ángel. Present. Melvin Balmore Cruz. Melvin Balmore Cruz. Miguel Alejandro Rodríguez. Present. Miriam Maricel Escobar. Present. Nelson Efraín Rivas. Present. Rosa María Salazar. 
Present. Silvia Noemi Campos. Present. Teresa Yamilet Martínez. Present. Yanira del Carmen Rosales. Yanira del Carmen Rosales. Yolanda Yamilet Andrade. Present. Ok. Muy bien. Um, just to conclude, vamos a ver las respuestas. Eh, number one, eh, who's, were, who's writing an essay? ¿Quién está escribiendo un ensayo? Katy. Katy yeah, is writing an essay. Katy. Katy is writing an essay. Muy bien. Katy is writing an essay. Eh, número dos, who is having coffee? Megan and Carmen having a coffee. Megan? And Carmen. Ah, uh, Megan and Carmen are having coffee. Okay, Megan and, Car and Carmen are having coffee. The next one, um, number three. Who's reading mag a magazine? ¿Quién está leyendo una revista? Carmen, Carmen is, is reading, reading a magazine. magazine. Ah, yes, uh, and she's reading a magazine. Okay, yes. Next one. Who is working outside? ¿Quién está trabajando afuera? Father Katy. The Katy's father. The Katy's father is working outside. And number five, who's shopping? ¿Quién está comprando? Mother is Katy. Katy's mother. Katy's mother. Katy's mother. Okay, Katy's mother is shopping. And the last one, who is playing soccer? John is playing soccer. Oh, John is playing soccer. Fantastic. Okay, students, congratulations for the work done. It's actually very interesting. So we conclude our class, and I hope to see you until Thursday. Nos veremos hasta el próximo este jueves, y pues a disfrutar. Si son mamás, happy Mother's Day since now, and have a beautiful night to all of you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. It was a pleasure. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Take care. Bye bye. Bye.